All right, it's that time. Time for a quick battery video. All right, this right here is the EcoFlow Delta Pro. If it's not D, it's one of the best battery power packs available in the market. It's got all the features. It's got three kilowatt hours of battery on board. It's long lasting lithium iron phosphate. And then it's got four of these plugs that do 20 amps. And then it's got one 30 amp max. And then this unit can be used in conjunction with a second unit. And then it could make 240 volts AC so that you can run your really, really, really big appliances, right? And so this can run your entire house if you set it up right. So one of the big questions that we get from time to time is how can we add more battery, right? Because let's say you can set this as a UPS and it works for people, but then it's like, ah, but I just need a little bit more battery. Well, the quickest way to add more battery just to buy the, the battery that they sell for this, right? So you just, there's a cable that you connect this and it'll just double your battery capacity right there. Now that becomes a six kilowatt hour uh, battery powered, you know, unit or whatever. And then you can do that with another unit and then now you have up to 12 kilowatt hours, right? So this is, uh, it's expandable, right? But the problem with this battery is well, that is expensive. You're looking at, I think, like somewhere around $3,000, right? So it's a double the price. Yeah, you get double the battery, but you get double the price. And so the question for me is always, hey, how do we do this on the cheap? Is there a way to add battery to this unit that doesn't break the bank, that doesn't, you know, cost so much? And the answer is always, almost always, yes. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, this right here is an EB4 battery. It is essentially just four scooter batteries connected in parallel so they can make a bigger battery, right? So this one is about 750 watt hours and it's 36 volts. You discharge it through here and then you charge it through this little port right here. So these batteries come from fleets of decommissioned scooters. So some of them are used, some of them are nearly used, some of them are nearly towards the end of their life. So we've gone through tens of thousands of these and we've uh, tested them and then we matched them and paired them into sets like this so that they all work, right? So this is a reclaim recycled uh, battery that we that it's available for reuse, right? And so that's really good for the environment to reuse batteries instead of sending them to be crushed and to be recycled, right? So these are very affordable. They're like $130, right? And I know what you're saying, yes, but this is a small little battery. That thing over there, it's like, well, that's that's 3,600 watt hours. So how can you compare the two? And to that, I say, bam, that right there is 3,600 watt hours, 3.6 kilowatt hours of battery. And this costs around $650 as opposed to this thing that originally costed $3,000. I looked it up and I think right now it's selling for like $2,200, right? So this is, I mean, this is still like one third of the, of the cost of this, right? So let me show you how to plug it in uh, so that you can expand the battery on your EcoFlow Delta Pro. Okay, so the EcoFlow has a port in the back that will accept anything between 11 to 150 volts DC, right? And it will charge the battery using the energy that you put in there. Now, when we first designed this battery, we uh, did it for another device that had an XT90 connector, right? So this unit uses an XT60 connector. So you will have to use a cable that goes from an XT60 60 female to an XT90 male, right? This little cable here, this is easily found on Amazon. And what you do is you connect this XT60 connector here, and then the other, the XT90, you connect it on the battery. Boom. Okay, so there it is, it's connected. This unit right here, it's completely dead because we've used it. Okay, so it's charging. You see here, it's it's pulling about 390, 400, 260. Okay, so it's settling at somewhere around 260, 270 watts. 
All right, so a single battery will charge it at that speed. 266 is not very fast, but I mean, it's like having a 300 watt solar panel. A 300 watt solar panel is pretty big, right? And I mean, this one is a lot more compact, so you need to charge it, right? And it's a lot easier to charge with these batteries if you have them pre-charged, these batteries, right? And so how do you speed that? Because this unit here has the potential of charging way higher than that, right? Up to, I think, over a thousand uh, watts. So the way to do that uh, is to put the higher the voltage over there. Those batteries are 36, so we will have to connect more batteries in series. And let me show you how to do that. What that's gonna do is gonna bump the voltage higher, and so it's gonna increase this number right here. Okay, so now we have three batteries right here. And how, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this little cable to connect them. And what this cable does is that it connects them in series. You see that the positive goes to that one battery and then the negative that comes out of that battery goes to the positive of the next battery. And then the negative that comes out of that goes to the positive of the next one. And then the negative that comes out there now goes finally out into this cable, right? So that's what we're gonna do. What it's gonna do is gonna take the 40 volts from here and the 40 volts from this one and the 40 volts from that one and it combines them and it gets them up somewhere around 120 volts. And then that's 120 volts will charge this really high or a higher uh, rate of charging. So let's connect those. Okay, so now we just connected them. You see that? They're connected in there. Okay, there we go. So now we're to 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. 1200 okay now it went back down to 800 and the fans have kicked in because that is quite a bit of solar charging that it sees on the input there all right so let's see how fast we can charge this. Uh, these batteries are not 100% charged. They're around, you know, 50%. So you could do, I did the math and even fully charge, you can do a maximum of four. And so I uh, modify the cable, I added one more. So now we're gonna put four in series. We're gonna bump up the, the voltage very close. I mean, somewhere around, you know, 120, 130 volts or something like that. And then we'll see how uh, fast we can charge this unit. Let's connect it once again and then plug it in Here we go Now you're gonna have to careful be careful when you do that because that's now that's high voltage All right, as you can see, this is charging at a thousand watts. It's gonna take about four hours to charge this battery. Uh, will it get it there? Yeah, it's about 3000 watts, uh, kilowatts, the battery charging a 3600. So it's not gonna get to 100% with the four over there. That's why you would need a fifth. But this is a good way to double your capacity of this guy. And by the way, how big can you go? Well, I mean, the sky's the limit. You could get a rack like that and put more of those in there, connect them, you know, connect three sets or four sets of those in series and then connect that right to your thing. And you could have a massive battery that you can charge. And every time I do this, there's people always ask, how do you charge the batteries? And to me, I'm like, what do you mean? How do you charge? You just get a charger. We sell these chargers. These are for 36 volt batteries. You know, they charge up to 42 volts. That's exactly what these are. These are designed to charge these batteries here. Now we sell them in different, uh, with different connectors. This is originally what the scooters came with, but we sell them to charge with the XT90s, XT60s, and even these ones, XT30s, that it's what you need to charge this ones, right? But of course, it'll take a long time to charge that with these because these are small. But if you don't mind, this is great. These are really cheap. You can buy uh, eight of these in our website for like $40, which it works out to be about $5 per charger, right? So that's a really good deal. 
Also, there is a project that we did way back in the day where I show you how to put eight of those uh, chargers inside this little box like this. And now this becomes like an 18, uh, 18 amp charger, right? And so if you need to charge like a big cart like that, for example, well, yeah, you would want to use something like this, right? And this has a fan in there and then you connect that in there and it'll charge it at the speed of the eight times eight of these chargers because it's got eight of these chargers inside, right? So, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of DIY projects. This is really cheap, um, right? And way cheaper than when you can get an 18 uh, amp charger on Amazon. But of course, if you don't want to build every single one of these things, you could just buy an 18 amp charger in Amazon and it could do the same thing as that. You'll just have to pay more. Like I think it's somewhere like 250, 300 bucks or something like that for this charger. Um, and so you can charge that. That's how you charge these batteries, right? You'll have to disconnect them and charge them individually and stuff like that. Uh, you can't, I guess there's a way you can charge it, but that's a bit more complex, but I would suggest you just disconnect them, connect them in parallel or charge one at a time or get a bunch of these little chargers, charge them all at the same time. You can charge them from the plug, right? Once you're back where you're, you, you need energy, once, once the power comes back on, or if you have solar and you wanna charge this via solar and you wanna charge those batteries too, just plug your solar in this guy, charge this battery, and then plug your chargers in here and then charge that battery, right? Eventually the battery here will charge, will charge all the way up and then whatever is left over, whatever surplus is gonna come out of those sockets and it's gonna go into those batteries. And so that's one way that you can charge them via solar, or you could just plug everything into the wall and then charge that way. So that's one easy, quick way and affordable way to add battery to your EcoFlow Delta Pro. There are many other ways I will show you in different videos uh, because I did one originally and then I just forgot about it and people uh, seem to try to go get those same batteries but those batteries are no longer available, but I'm like, this new ones are basically, they work the same way. So why don't you just use them? But I guess I have to make these videos and show you so that it's easy to follow along and then uh, build these little projects. All right, thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.